Welcome to D and D High, the first season. Um, so I'd like to start by going around the table, everybody uh, giving your name, your character name, and then creating one relationship with someone else at the table. So let's start with you there. That was the head shake, didn't you? Um, <laughs> my name is Kayla. I will be playing Jenny Smith. Jenny is, she's a gnome artificer. She has no idea what she is, even though she's short and has pointy ears. Um, so when she gets her letter from D&D High, she's surprised. Uh, she, she's naive, she's sweet and kind, so she she's a good little girl that doesn't know anything about this big bad world. Um, and Jenny knows, what's your character's name? Lisa. Lisa. You here are very professional at D&D High. We know all of our backstories and... <laughs> had this prepared. She knows Lisa because... Um, I'm the trainer back here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was actually kind of leaning towards. <laughs> she grew her tree from a baby. <laughs> so uh, I'm your tree baby. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Guys, this is 30 seconds into the show. <laughs> this is what you get to expect for the rest of the season. Yeah. Uh, we'll start with you next. With me? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm looking at this camera. There we go. I'm Kara. I am playing the male Leslie. I am a man in the game. <laughs> Leslie, the tiefling elementalist. Do you remember that kid that would sit in the corner and draw pictures and look like he hated the world? That's me. I hate the world and I don't like you. As per usual with tieflings, I am particularly fond of fire. Abnormally so, and I don't claim credit fully for that house that burned down. And I am going to have a relationship with Jake, and I don't like him. I don't like him in particular. I think he killed my cat when I was young. I object to that statement. Um, <laughs> I love animals. I have a relationship with Lisa. We're, we're nature buddies. Yes. <laughs> and your character name? Well, oh, Jake Truesmell, yeah. He's a lawful stupid paladin, Jake Truesmell. He's a very smelly paladin from a very long line of smelly paladins. Um, loves animals. He's kind of stupid. All right. Okay. Um, I'm Brooke, and I play Lisa. Lisa, who is a druid wildin. It's on a tree. Lisa is kind of one of those crazy tree hugger hippie kind of ladies. Um, I don't. I'm not sure how much streaking is going to be happening in this in this D and D episode, but um, I guess we'll find out. So, lots of trees, lots of tree references, lots of bark references, um, hardwood refer references, softwood references, you know what that is. Wood's always on my mind. <laughs> and I have a relationship with Leslie because he wasn't very nice to me while we were uh, at a field trip at a park when we were in our younger years. And uh, he tripped me and I fell in the dirt. And so my bark, I, I picked that on my bark for like months, so. Sounds about wasn't it wasn't a great experience. So, so in most D and D games, you would have the characters go, "Well, I know this person because we're really good friends." In this D and D game, apparently everybody hates each other. Is that true? They're good buddies. Nature buddies. And they're oh, tree nature buddies. buddies. And we're tree buddies. Tree baby. Okay. Tree baby buddies. So I guess it's just you bring out the worst in people. I'm gonna really keep imagining like a baby in the ground, just the head sticking out. <laughs> Really scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> With like the two little, little twigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what you get to see. <laughs> so, today is the first day of the rest of your lives oh in the world of DD. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have all come from different situations. But you are all now in the same place. The most prestigious school for adventurers in the world. Or so you've been told. So you guys have just arrived at this massive castle that uh, seems to have an air of magic about it. You're noticing uh, students all walking around. Um, you see people from every walks of life. You see some Genasi. You see some Dragonborn. You see some humans. 
Um, you see, you know, magical creatures just wandering around aimlessly. It's a magical place. And as you come to um, the area that you've been directed by everyone that's been kind enough to tell you, you're supposed to go that way. You come to this massive set of double doors. These are the largest doors you have ever seen. Nearly 40 feet high and almost twice as wide. Can I kick them out? <laughs> can you kick them out? You can try. Um, why don't you roll a, a, an athletics check for me to get uh, you rolling? What? I miss my other character. You have the higher <laughs> athletics. I can do fun things. Yeah. Seven? No. So, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> as you go towards it, you actually kick it and uh, end up hurting uh, your, your big toe, and you take one point of damage. Are you kidding me? Fine. It's not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> so, after you go up and kick the door, which you notice is as wooden as you are. Um, <laughs> you look just like a tree from my backyard. It's amazing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Walks away. <laughs> For those of you under the age of 13 watching, the word that she just said is not a bad word. It's... Uh, Foreign language because I she's said worse than this already. <laughs> <laughs> You're mentioning this now. Um. So yeah, as you guys uh, get in, um, uh, you guys notice like just the the feel of magic in uh, the school starts to get stronger. And as you look at the door, um, the timbers in the door begin to morph into what looks like a giant face, and all the hairs on the back of your head or the back of your neck are standing on it and you can just feel this this large magical presence and for some reason I have the image of the guy from Power Rangers now <laughs> and he goes Rangers <laughs> no and uh, as uh, the, the timbers begin to morph and everything you see a face and then the eyes of the face open up and uh, the face opens its mouth to say uh, and I have this all written down you have just taken the first steps on the journey that will last you for the rest of your lives. In these sacred halls, you will learn the skills necessary to join the world and be the heroes of your own story. Welcome to D&D &D High. And with those words, his eyes close and you notice a seam formed down the center of his face. And you notice the doors start to creak to life and start to open on their own. And as they uh, start opening, um, you guys hear this jarring metal clanking sound and they immediately stop. Um, and I'd like everyone to roll uh, a perception check. Can I take my passive perception? 15. <laughs> 15? 25. 25? 12. 12. 10. 10. <laughs> so. Um, you guys notice that you can see what looks like a little chain, kind of like the chain you use to lock your door uh, at home. And as soon as the door stops, you notice the eyes shoot open again, and the door opens its mouth to, uh, to address uh, whomever has done this. Uh, and he goes, did someone leave the chain on again? Seriously, you guys, this is... This is a fire hazard, okay? You can't be doing that. You know, the fire department will come in and they'll just, like, shut us down. So, somebody just just take take the chain off, guys. It's not funny, all right? And you guys can hear little snickers from inside the room. Um, and the door ends its little tired of, jeez, you just try to, you know, give a little majesty on the first day of school, and this is what you get. And you hear another... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you notice the uh, chain gets removed and the doors open completely. What stands before you is a large, um, a large room with three very enormous tables uh, taking up most of the floor. And on the table is various breakfast items, things like that. You notice students are just kind of 
wandering around, eating food, talking with each other. Uh, you also notice towards the back of the room, there is steps leading up to a raised platform where there is another table where the faculty or any guests or anything like that, adults basically, can have their meal without having to interact with all of the children. Um, and there's also a dais uh, right around there uh, so that anytime someone needs to address uh, the school, they can address from there. So what I'd like you guys to do, go ahead and move your characters to wherever you'd be sitting. Turn my box to the door. Go ahead. Just talk. Did you see that? I want to talk to you. <laughs> Remember to speak up. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you. Get away. <laughs> all right, so now that you guys have all positioned yourself, as you walked in, you also noticed in this corner over here, there's a group of four students that uh, have a throng of students around them that are just enamored with them. And uh, with this being a little bit different than like your standard D&D uh, &D game, a few of the uh, abilities and skills act a little bit differently in high school. So what I'd like everyone to do right now is roll a streetwise check. Uh, and that will basically, that is your knowledge of how cool people are, which is very important in high school. So we'll start with, what did you get? 10. 10, okay. Appropriate. Uh, 21. 21. Oh, uh, 14. 14? 14. 19. 19. You guys are rolling well. Um, so everybody, uh, you all know that these four students in the middle are the coolest kids in the school. You're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the first Did one. Did you see the door talk though, right? Okay, I'm not crazy. No, of course it talks. It is a magic, like, based door. <laughs> you yell from across the hall. Right, yeah, it's <laughs> a magic door. Got it. <laughs> So this guy right here, that is Xander Cooliner. Oh no. He is a very powerful wizard. The big one? Uh yeah, the that dude that I just pointed at. You weren't very clear with your pointing. I it was him. pretty big. I apologize to the viewers at home. Turning my immersion. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fourth wall, you can't break it, dude. <laughs> So that's Xander Cooliner. He is the leader of the cool kids and is the single coolest kid in the school. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, he's awesome. Xander with a Z or an X? X. He is so <laughs> cool that he has an X in his Extreme. name. Extreme. Xander. 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 No, it's me. He yells from across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme. Extreme. <laughs> Um, the next one you see is this short one here, and that is Jess, Jess, blah, 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 Jess, Shadow Strike. And she is the editor of the school newspaper and seems to have a hand in just about everything. She's trying to make fetch work? She's trying to make fetch work. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. So. Is she a halfling? She is. She is a. She's a halfling. Can I be friends with her? <laughs> you can, can try. try. And okay. she tends. She tends to be the one that gets the dirt on everybody. So she knows everything that's happening at the school. She doesn't even have to roll streetwise checks. She just knows. That's creepy. <laughs> and then right next to her, right there, that is Crystal Kindheart. She is the leader of the cheerleaders. And she is the most popular girl in school. Like all the guys want to date her, half of the girls want to date her too. Um, and she is currently dating um, Xander. So everybody knows that not only do they want to date her, but she is 100% off limits. And then the final person is this guy right here as I fall onto the table. Yep. That would have been fun. <coughs> Uh, and that is Ryan Shield Basher. He's an exchange student, uh, and he uh, is the captain of the football team. He's a rather refrigerator-shaped gentleman, uh, and tends to uh, 
tends to not be the most eloquently spoken person, but most people don't. Is he from um, Germany by chance? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking he's, he's more from like the Austrian border. And uh, specific. Yeah, really. <laughs> the Austrian portion of the Forgotten Realms. Refrigerators often sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's <laughs> I'm glad your refrigerator cost you in your spare time. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Excellent. So you guys all know that. Um, so after figuring out who these cool kids are, uh, what kind of things are you guys doing at the tables? I'm going to eat because I'm assuming there's breakfast on the table. There is. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm going to sit there eating and not paying attention to anybody. <laughs> the doors weren't locked. I was just. I'm, it's really tired. It's really early. It's that's, really tired. That's what it was. <laughs> so you're still enamored with the fact that the door was talking. A little bit. Okay. A bit. I'm going to analyze the type of wood that the table is made out of. <laughs> See if it's maybe a distant relation. Yes. <laughs> and then cry at the fact that it, it might just be my Uncle Joe. <laughs> Uncle Joe. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> and you are not prone yes. by your friend. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, like wailing across the room. Like everyone is, knows what's going on. Just doing <laughs> the whole Darth Vader. No! Yeah. We're trying to decide how quickly you can catch on fire. <laughs> Pretty quick. Yeah, it's not really wise to have a party fit with somebody who's obsessed with fire and a talking tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can jump in this Alright, so. Jake, what are you doing? What are you what doing? Am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you up to? I'm gonna stop crying. I'm just staring at What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stand on the table. What I'm gonna doing? smack this person who's <laughs> talking in front of me. I thought we were I nature hate... buddies. <laughs> <laughs> no, nature buddies only go so far. I mean... <laughs> nature buddies mean everything to me. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna kind of... I'm kinda... gonna sit by the girl who's enamored with everything. and just like leap across the table. It's great. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna roll an acrobatics I'm gonna fail so badly because you made these stats awful. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Falls on phase, not prone again. <laughs> no. One point of damage? Uh, no. That oh. time it's got a trip. Okay. That time it wasn't self-inflicted damage. So. <laughs> I'm gonna eat breakfast. <laughs> Face palm. You have the tree that's frolicking all over the <laughs> Will Lisa ever succeed on a skill check? Does Leslie really want to set her on fire? And who are these cool kids? Tune in next time to find out on D&D &D High.